Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. I didn't stream yesterday because it was Father's Day. Today, we're actually going to continue with the, with the uh, tours of my Phoenix, uh, Jurassic World Phoenix parks. And, we'll be doing an area six. We start at Jurassic World area, Phoenix area three. There might be a few changes at Area 3. <laughs> One vehicle per 200 meters. Okay, so... Here's where we start. We come out of there and we see these big viewing towers. So now we continue walking. We look to our right and we see a fence right there. Wonder what's in that. You might be wondering. Well, here is our star attraction, which we have right up by the gate. Up by the entrance. We might be able to see one. There are two of them. There is both of them. There they are. Beauties, aren't they? And with our, uh... Special thing. We can go in and have a look see at them. I believe that one's based on the Mel Rex. I believe that's the Black Rex skin. And this is uh I think Big Edie or Little Edie. It's one of them from Camp Cretaceous. I like the movie skins. They just look better. And the show skins. They just look better. Than the default. Anyway. Those, those viewing towers also operate as sniper towers. So, uh, yeah. Ah. This uh, 
this exhibit here is also off limits, mostly because even with the thing on, Trudon still likes to nip at ya. At does. And there's one problem with that. The poisonous. So, uh... The only way to do it is to go in like this. Uh, the armor allowed to be able to be in this exhibit without a ranger thing. Here's a Trudon. It's sleeping. We might want to go back this way because it might wake up. Oh, they know someone's in here, all right. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> you might be thinking, wow, look at all this place. Look at this place. Uh, wow. Over there, you can see our aviary. Yeah, we have an aviary. But, first... We do have a lagoon. You might be asking, what's in this lagoon? There's only one animal in it. Let's see if we can see him. Nothing there. Okay. What? Hold on. Oh, there's Navajo, the Tylosaurus. We came to the right spot. At least we know he's out there somewhere. <laughs> and I'll be right back.
Alrighty. Hold on, I'm one, two, three over there, one over there. Okay, good. Rah. So we're gonna go to those three last. Okay, so, uh... Let's jog! All the way over to the aviary. There's the aviary. Yeah. This should have that more started pteranodon in it. There's that morphodon at least. Okay, it probably only has Dimorphodon. Let me double check. Okay, nothing but Dimorphodons. Aww. Okay, so, uh... Let's jog this way again. Jogging, 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 jog, jog, jog. Navajo is a star aquarium attraction here. Oof, let's get into the shade a bit. Our bathrooms are equipped with facilities to get drinks and stuff. So are our shops and our shelters. <laughs> Hydration and cooling centers. Even our Restaurants have cooling ha have cooling. We do this because we don't want any lawsuits, to be honest. Alright, okay, so I see how to get there now. Yes, I'm getting lost in my own park. Okay, I forget what we have in this at the moment.
Oh, I think it's Perseratosaurus. That's safe to go into. The exhibit of. Perseratosaurus for carnivores are actually rather docile, even though they live in groups like this. In fact, they let their handlers pet them and stuff. They're one of the few that don't need the special thing, the special uh, equipment. They're gonna be careful, they're wild animals with sharp teeth. You don't wanna upset them. There's a ranger vehicle! Coming in to check on them. Over here uh, is a definite no-go zone, and that's here in the ranger vehicle. Can I get there from here? No, I guess we're just cut off over. Let's see if we can see anything down there. But I do have a special equipment to allow myself to go in. There's one of them. It's an Ender Raptor. We have two of them in here. You might know the Ender Raptor from the Lock Lockwood Manor incident. Oh, this was the blue stripe one. She's n he's not as aggressive as his female compa companion. In fact, you just lay down like this if there's any humans around. There's a third hybrid created by Dr. Rue. Uh, well, sixth hybrid. Because our... Ah. Uh, parks. Else, we have encountered Dorcas in, in the islands of the, on the islands of the five deaths. Have encountered Dorcas in the uh, Spiner Raptor. Oh wait, seventh. Ah, uh, Degaceratops. Allow me to drive. Running on green electricity should 
Oh. To your left, you can see Ankylosaurus, and that big shore pond here is a new addition. After our acquisition of Biosyn, that is a Dreadnoughtus. Yeah, look how big it is. Yeah. Alright, so my HUD shows... I see the, some Dyrakosaurus over here. I think there's some Pachycephalosaurus over there. There's a small sword part over here. Hey, will you eat hamburger gravy over boiled potatoes? I don't know, maybe. Gravy. Maybe. You eat it in the noodles. Okay, yes. Maybe. Oh, that's uh. I think that's a Biosaura. And that's a Biosaura. And this little guy. Is that Draco Rex? Yes, they. Oh, yes, those are Draco Rexes. And over there, I think that's a Camarasaurus. And we have Struthiomimus. I think that might be a Dreadnoughtus again. There's another sword part over here. Oh, it's a Patasaurus. Okay, let's see what dinosaurs I had in here. A Padasaurus, definitely. Ah, Trunkingosaurus. Okay, so we saw all the dinosaurs. Species. So now we'll walk over this way. That's a ranger outpost. They're always on alert. They're using the uh, Ludlow era engine vehicles. Be careful, drivers. Hello. She works here. Be careful, drivers. 
You ever see one of our handlers? She's the handler at the breakfast. He is the handler of. Uh, why is he over here? He's, a, he's the aviary guy. Ah man, that helicopter just left. So that's not all right there. This is our ride to area four. Welcome to Jurassic World Area 4. First stop. All right. Area 4 has changed from when it was first created. You see, instead of having to take the gate in, I can just cross over. And we can do. Uh, it feels a bit more natural now. The animals don't freak out as much. Kind of the tourists is here. But they're not the only But they're not the only ones. In this exhibit. Biosyn had invisible fencing. And our Jeep, the vehicles, no longer need to go 
through a gate. Ah, Albertosaurus. A close relative of Tyrannosaurus Rex. So Albertosaurine, rather than Tyrannosaurine. Anyway. Up to the next exhibit. This is area four. You can also see our new viewing research platforms. Our scientists use those to research. And they also raise up every so, raise a number every so often. And here, I forget exactly what we have. Oh, we have Majungasaurus. A relative of the Carnotaurus you saw earlier. Oh, I'm well, not so sure these are the only things. We have in this. There's more. Yeah, there are. There's three of them. There's another. Ginger Soros. She had just rest. Um, these are also Tyrannosaurids. You can tell by the two fingers on each hand. So I don't remember if these are which subfamily the part of as I said makes things a lot easier Up above, you can up there. You can see yeah, our monorail system. Yeah, it's uh, mm, not this one. This one definitely. Oh. Just because you don't see anything up here, there's a couple of um, way right over there. Yeah, and this we have Ichthyosaurus. Although many marine species are solely confined to the water, some predatory animals possess enough strength to keep them from falling into the ocean and unleash their predators. Oh. 
Ah, uh, finally. In this exhibit, you'd have to be very careful. They're as dangerous as Velociraptor and other dinosaurs we have that you'll be seeing later. They resemble Velociraptor, and boy, oh boy, do they have a mean streak. If you want to work here, Ah, there's one. Say hello to Deinonychus. I do have the, uh, Pred Predator Deterrent System active. It's based on Biosyn's Airborne Deterrent System. Ah, Deinonychus. There's more than one in there. Though I'd rather not get caught up with the pack of them. Aw, oh, man. Hold on. Yes. We're going to that next one since... It's probably the closest to the entrance. No, that one down there is. We're gonna be going to the next monorail entrance. You can see a helicopter on return. That's not gonna be our ride. Unless we run it. Nope. Well.
Now this is area five. I'm gonna see how many uh, exhibits there are real quick. Hello and welcome to Jurassic World Phoenix Area 6. We have quite a bit to show off today. <laughs> this is our Megalosaurus exhibit. A Car Caradontosaurus exhibit. That's just our own exhibit. Now is it? No. Now I have to cook Herodontosaurus. Like I said, I have a PDS Predator turn system on. At all times, and the only things in here are carnivores. And here are, uh, Metricanthosaurus, and I think Allosaurus is here too. I forget what I have in here with Metri. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Allosaurus. Yeah, this is the second park with Allosaurus in it. You'd be surprised how many times, how often we sometimes reuse dinosaurs. Last time there was Carnotaurus, it was with uh, Metrocanthosaurus. With uh, Allosaurus. Last time we had Allosaurus in a park, it was with Ceratosaurus. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so Oops <sighs> Let's run by all these people This park is able to be upgraded with the new bios and Invisible fences and gates. We wish it could be, but something that's not the case. Or the places that use Jurassic World or that use multi era as per contract 
are allowed to uh, use BIOS in stuff. Uh, but first, goats! Is there a goat exhibit? Not really. I don't know where they are. There's one. Say hello to Megalosaurus. If I remember correctly, um... <laughs> it's either Megalosaurus that's the first to be named or the Guadalajara the first to be discovered. Or Megalosaurus, the first to be discovered, or the Guanodon, the first to be named. Alright. First Megalosaurus is the first dinosaur ever described scientifically. Well, the Guanodon was the first dinosaur to be described. As a dinosaur, I believe. I do record. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Alright, next exhibit. Is a dinosaur from South America. You'd be surprised. There's more than one in this place. Cocarodontosaurus is from Africa. Ah, oh, there it is. I lost track of it, which is a good thing to do when you're in a... Oh. Here's one. Herrerasaurus. It's laying down. Yeah, this is track of your, uh... Kind of words is never a good thing. This park here... Uses... The classic dress perk stuff. <laughs> Equipment. Paint and stuff. There should be more than one. That's oddly alarming. I could only find one. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is this is the way over from here. Oh, you can see one. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's run over. This is an exciting one. Also from South America. Near the gate. No! There's a Drigonotosaurus. And uh, there's two variations. 
This is the engine drinking engine drinking Oh, this is the fuck, you know? And over here it's the Biosid Drigonotosaurus, which uses the pure Drigonotosaurus DNA. No frogs required. Name means Southern Giant. I mean, if a Tyrannosaurus is through a pure DNA, they look a lot different. They look different by having feathers on the dorsum. Ah, over here. I could just take a jaunt over here. Alright, Acrocanthosaurus, we have a pair of them. I love how we have three Carcarodontosaurus here. And Carcarodontosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Acrocanthosaurus. Congratulations! Yeah. They're... They're the They're carcarid Yeah, these things are related to Drigonotosaurus back there. What are you doing? That's the female. This is the male, since he's brighter. Alright, let's uh, rush this race, run this race, so we can, uh, at least try to catch a fly as soon as possible. To area six. Come on, people. Not in my way. So I do have to ask myself. Oh, it's coming in. All right. Now we can go to area six. I wasn't originally going to show it off as part of my tour, but now I have to. Because it's basically complete. Because it's complete. Yeah. 
Alright, so... Welcome! To Jurassic World Phoenix Area 6. We have an aviary. You might be able to see what we have in the store here. Already. We have a pair of Kretzakoratlis, some Dimorphodon, and some Pteranodon. I definitely see that the cats are corrupted. I will pray and joy here. <laughs> okay, so, uh... We can't exactly just walk through the exhibit here. For people to see the dinosaurs, they usually have to take the hyperloop to the viewing platforms. But we're having a special We're taking a special ride with the Biosyn Jeeps. Uh, and here. We have Dreadnoughtus, including the engine variant. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I'm checking something. So in here, 
there should be a pack of... There they are! Pyroraptor. And here is also drinking another thirst. Pyroraptor back there, uh, was discovered by the result of a, uh, of a forest fire it was discovered in the aftermath of a forest fire anyway here you can see two members of a very very aggressive species There is an Astorus. Very aggressive in the sense of... They don't like anything else in their territory. Yeah, there is an Astorus are closely related to dinosaurs such as Gallimimus, Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptor, even Pyroraptor, Deinonychus, um, yeah, they're, they're a pod, but they eat plants. Not meat. And here we should find a synapsid species. Ah, uh, there they are. Ah, yeah, it's Demetrodon, their closest living relative, us. They're often called dinosaurs by those not in the know, but they're not dinosaurs. You probably saw what was over there. We use invisible fences at this park to give the dinosaurs an increased sense of comfort. As you can see, we also have some Tyrannosaurus Rex. A male and a female. This the one that I'm not going for. Ah yes, this is a Biosyn Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, as you can see, she's feathered.
and then here Yeah, we have a rather large herd of Parasaurolophus, including both Biosid and Engine variations. We do have but one more, uh, place to go. That being here. Oh, there's a... There they are. We have a rather sizable pack of Dilophosaurus in this place. And that's the last of the dinosaurs here at area six. And now, we're done. Alright, so, uh, thank you for watching. If you were watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow, subscribe if you wish to do so. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to join the notification squad. Peace out.